Okay, um, welcome back, and um, we hope our problem has been resolved. Um, actually, uh, we can share with you the nature of the issue. It's, it's um, our other guest, Honorable uh, Wumana Bako. He, he's uh, of the Plateau State, uh, he, he's the Plateau State Assistant Secretary of APC, and he's supposed to be, you know, in this uh, conversation as well. But um, there have been technical issues. Uh, we have uh, visual contact, but not sound audio uh, contact, and that's the problem that's had us in a tizzy. Uh, but we are going to continue working at it, and as soon as uh, he can join us technically, uh, we will take him on to contribute to this conversation. Uh, but we started off with uh, Mr. Tony Daniel, lawyer and public affairs analyst, and um, the log jam, if that is the way to refer to it in the Plateau State uh, House of Assembly, the Speaker um, has declined to swear in uh, members of the, that were duly elected into the assembly, uh, he's he's taken a recess, and then he's also said that he he actually has uh, some further communication uh, from a co for about court processes. All of this seems to be skipping from side to side to front to center uh, to avoid doing um, what, for whatever reason, he doesn't seem inclined uh, to doing, which is admit those people into the state house of assembly. Um, but uh, the logjam, and you, if you've been with us from the beginning, you understand where all of this is coming from. It's coming from the legal situation as it affected the governor, who, by the way, because he was contesting a gubernatorial election, has recourse to the Supreme Court as the highest, uh, you know, as the, the, the final bus stop, let's just use that expression, when it comes to these legal matters. Uh, but with legal with Matters that, you know, do not reach the governorship level, like, for instance, the State House of Assembly, the terminal junction, legally speaking, is at the appeal court. Now, looking at the fact that the governor won by going to the appeal court. Supreme Court. I, I beg your pardon. To the Supreme Court, you know, there are people in the legislative arm that are saying that, well, the issues are similar. If, if only we had recourse we might have had a different outcome from that which we are stuck with at the appellate court. Uh, my guest, Tony Daniel, has been saying that there still are ways out of the uh, logjam. Now, the question I wanted to ask is, um, yes, I've heard your way. Um, they can uh, revert to the appellate judge, uh, the court, yes. and ask the court um, to review its decision. Now, the question I want to ask is, how, what is the disposition, generally speaking, of such of judges to this kind of legal maneuver? Uh, is it something that they take on uh, with um, equanimity, or is it an uphill process, generally speaking, from your experience of over 30 years in practice? Um, judges have a lot of discretion, which most often are not questioned. For example, they can decide to adjourn to any date that they feel is convenient to them. Mm -hmm. But in this instant case, they are human beings. They are in our society. They are aware of what is happening in Plateau State. So, and they know that if, for example, they have the ability to look at the matter again, they will want to do, dispense with it speedily. Then this discretion that judges have, we use the word, must be exercised judicially or judiciously. What it means is that you cannot abuse that discretion too. You understand me? Now, there are certain areas your discretion don't count. Okay. Where there is a specific statutory provision on an issue, mm -hmm. you can't exercise discretion. Do we, don't, do, do, do we have that situation in the case we're, we're, we're discussing now? Yeah, but there's what we call trite and conventional matters. Okay. For example, it is trite that a court should not allow too much technicalities to make the judge not to do substantive justice. For example... When, when lawyers use the word trite, uh, what does it mean? Normal in oh, practice. Oh, it, is, you, it, it, it can it be is, taken for granted. It is, no, well, it is normal in practice. It is proper. It is it proper. It is equitable. It is the way to go. Yes. That is normal. That yes. is standard. Yes. Okay. It might not be in any particular law, Yeah. but it is 
proper. It, it is proper. There is it, no is law. The, it is the expected way to go. Yes. It doesn't bear a conversation. For example, there is no law that says judges must sit by nine. But we know it, it is tried for that by nine, a judge should be sitting by 9 a.m. Okay. in the morning. Okay. So now back to the issue. Mm -hmm. If while waiting for amendment of the enabling act such that certain matters can also go to the Supreme Court, there is a solution here. The Supreme Court has taken a decision as it affects the governor. Yes. In the process of deciding the issue of the governor, Supreme Court made issues on the decision of the Court of Appeal as it affects the other parties who never had legally the uh, uh, you know, opportunity to go to the Supreme Court. Now, even in normal cases, we used to refer to the words of justices of Supreme Court which are not part of the main judgment mm -hmm. to convince a court of lower jurisdiction on why it should toe the same line. We do that. So if they go to the go back, those affected by the decision of the Court of Appeal who couldn't appeal to the Supreme Court, go back to the Court of Appeal with an application for the Court of Appeal to review its decision. Some will say you are appealing to the court. No. If, for instance, because I've read the judgment of the Supreme Court, it made, I mean, it rubbished the reason and the decision of the Court of Appeal and even refer to its a decision in other matters that the Court of Appeal ought to have added to because there is what we call uh, uh, rules, I mean, uh, 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 what do you call it? The decision of a superior court must be followed when a, when, when a junior court or inferior court is hearing the same matter on the same issue. Mm -hmm. The Court of Appeal in a plethora of cases have said a party cannot complain about how the primaries of another party was conducted. We are aware of this before this matter. So why will the justices of the Court of Appeal Pay of uh, in the particular one in issue, pay blind eyes to this. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, act like they are not aware of this. I don't know what was presented to the court. I'm aware that an appeal is based on what has happened in the lower court. Now, the law also allow you if something very important has happened in the lower court, because you cannot bring in fresh issue. You can apply, and if you have special basis and reason, convincing reason to introduce a new issue which was not there at the trial court before you file an appeal and it will be allowed. So the issues are clear. We must get out of this long jam. Well, the way to get out of it is not through illegality. It's not through self help It has to be through the same legal way. Okay. When you say um, the issues are clear, I mean, for, for an issue that is clear, it's taking us a heck of a time uh, to, to take action on it and be able to move forward. The, the, what put us in this logjam is clear. Everybody can understand that. It is getting out of it that perhaps is less so. But, 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 but sorry, sir. We do have um, Honorable uh, Wumana Bako now, uh, the Plateau State Assistant Secretary of APC. We do have... Um, his audio as well. We can hear him now. Uh, so a fine morning to you, Honorable Bako. Good morning. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, well, I can't see you now. I think we've inverted the problem. So, oh, there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, I don't know if you've been able to follow the issue. We're looking at the unending, well, some are calling it confusion. Uh, let, let me just go with situation. How do you read the uh, situation? We are hearing here that a way out of it is to get the appellate court to review its decision, effectively reverse itself, but to review its decision. And um, if, if that were the case, um, then maybe we could you know, find some, 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 some way to make progress. Uh, so give me your take on this whole situation. What brought us here, of course, as you know, is that the PDP, you know, 
you know, applied for, you know, an injunction and it's gone, it's gone south since then. Let me hear from you, sir. What do you think is the situation? Okay, good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, thank, thank you. you again. Thank you, sir. Uh, you see, this issue, uh, the Court of Appeal have passed our judgment as at last year, November, we have 15 legislators, or 16 legislators from the PDP, we are sacked by the Court of Appeal thereby affirming 15 of the APC and one Labour Party as duly elected members. And when by the law of this country, the appellate court is the final court in any case, in any electoral matter regarding the National Assembly members and Houses of Assembly. The 16 members of the PDP were not satisfied even after the appellate court judgment. They still went back to the appellate court judgment to seek for a review Ooh. this year. And what did the appellate court did? The appellate, uh, appellate court dismissed that case and even and even penalized the, 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 the lawyer of the uh, of the system members. And then a fine of about one hundred twenty something million was meted on him. We in the APC have continually maintained that the laws must be followed. We don't know why the speaker of the Plateau House of Assembly is choosing which law, which law he should follow. If the Court of Appeal is a final court, we expect that by now we should obey the court of the land. Just the way we obey the judgment of the Supreme Court. We expect that the PDP and the Speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly, who are conniving together, should obey the Court of Appeal judgment. So That is the position of the law. Nobody should add salt to it. That is the position of the law. I didn't make the law. So... Um, in fact, let me just tell you that um, you, you give me additional information um, that that which a lawyer uh, in studio is recommending has actually been done. That is to say, the appellate court has been approached to consider reviewing its stance and yes. it has been rejected. It has been rejected, outrightly rejected. And even a, a fine was meted on the lawyer, a senior advocate of Nigeria, Chief Garba Poole. So, that materially adjusts the situation. So, why do we, uh, from this point of view, maybe you now see it that um, uh, the, 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 the speaker uh, really has some explaining to do why he is making it difficult to do the needful, which is swearing um, the APC members. I, we, I think we know, we, we know, we, we can guess, but all of this is not reasonable in terms of uh, I can't let your party have an advantage. Seems to be the whole long and short of it. Yes, um, I want to thank the uh, uh, woman Abako. Yes, I want to thank him for the information. And okay, it can you come again, please? Yeah, please. No, no, no. Our guest is um, thanking you for the information. Thank you, thank you too. Yes, um, it shows too that I was right that you can approach the Court of Appeal. Now, um, I'm aware that they have written complaint against the justices that took that decision, but that will only affect or have an administrative effect. Now, um, this you, you, speaker... You, you, you're not about to comment, are you? I, want, I, want to I, I wanted to ask question. you if, since the explanation, when you didn't know that they had taken that recommended I'm course of there. action, uh, uh, can, uh, can you, would, would you like to comment on um, you know, the judge throwing it out. Yes. The judge have reasons for their decision. We cannot question that. Uh -huh. But if you have reason to believe that that decision needs to be reviewed, you take the step that has already been taken. Now, I notice that this same problem of the Speaker of State House of Assembly refusing to swear in members who ought to be swearing in is not only peculiar to just The persons who, that is the law, it's unfortunate. That is the law. The man is correct. If that decision has been taken, you must obey the law. I recall good Lord Jonathan when he was president and when uh, President Gerard Wa died, he, the law allowed him to spend the unexpired term Whereas that is not proper. It's a different person from the president. But that is the law. You know, that is the law. Instead of, he spent two years extra. One election has spent four years. 
Under two years that he ruled the country, he was not elected president. He only took over by virtue of the law. But by, so, so what I'm saying is that the law must be obeyed. In this instance... And so the law can make a thing right. The law might cause confusion. You look for a way to correct it later by amendment. Mm -hmm. But you have to obey it. That is but the, if the law says that this is legal, can one not take it to therefore mean that this is right? That's what we are saying. Okay. I am saying that with the judgment of the Court of Appeal and the reviewed judgment of the same Court of Appeal in mm -hmm. this case mm -hmm. must be obeyed. The Speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly must obey the law and bring in those the decision of the Court of Appeal favored. Those aggrieved, it's unfortunate. They have to take it the same way Nigerian beard. In a lot of other decisions that have been taken, you remember the governor of uh, Imo State, how he came in? He was number four in the hierarchy. And he was made the governor. But that is the law. And it was obeyed. And that's why so they if, But the society have taken note of these lacunas and issues relating to this law. And these uh, legislators at the national level have taken note. We will make uh, a room for amendments. Remember this case of uh, Uzo Kalu that was Uzokali that was jailed by the court, but the, the judge has already been elevated to the court of appeal. He came back to the federal court to pass that judgment, and the law is that you cannot do that, and the judgment was set aside. That is the law. No matter how you feel, that is the law. But you see, the law is made for the society, not the other way around. But we cannot allow self help and we cannot allow crisis to continue in a society. The law is supposed to prevent it. But the only solution is for the extant law to be amended, such that if incidents like this reoccur in future, we take care of it. It's most unfortunate. There is nothing those affected can do. OK. Uh, 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 Honorable Bako, um, is it your position then that um, uh, the, the party that is... Um, that is refusing to uh, allow uh, duly elected and certified by the courts to be so, uh, to be sworn in, that uh, the party is be behaving with impunity? Uh, yes, uh, you see, this is the position of things. We have now, as it stands, eight members of the Plateau State House of Assembly. Seven of them are of the old Progressive Congress and one of the uh, young Progressive Congress, YPP, Young Progressive Party. No, no. And he is the speaker. And he is the speaker. Now yeah. you have yes, the, the minority is now the speaker. One man of eight members out of assembly, seven of the APC, and one is of the YPP. Now the man in the YPP, as far as we are concerned, and as far as any interested person is concerned, is dancing to the tune of the government in Plateau State. That is go the government led by PDP. Because we, we, we have repeatedly written, in fact, this certificate of return has been issued to the members elect, and then INEC have written, the lawyers of, those, of, of, of APC have written to the, to, 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 to the Speaker of the Plateau State Assembly to, with immediate effect, without any further delay, swear in these members, but he has repeatedly refused, citing some unseen, with some frivolous uh, uh, federal high court injunction that he has never come out to show the world where it exists. There was nothing as such. A court of appeal is higher than any court, uh, that federal court of I mean, federal high court. But the speaker is claiming an injunction, an injunction from a lower court when there is a higher court judgment. Uh, we the, suspect uh, that the speaker is conniving with the government of the day not to swear in the members elect. That is what we in the APC are suspecting. Honorable and if Bako, that is the case, then uh, uh, Honorable Bako, yes. uh, uh, how did the uh, curiosity happen of uh, YPP? Uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 becoming, the uh, becoming the speaker. Okay, let me explain to you. Shortly before the judgment of the Court of Appeal, some judgment regarding the National Assembly had already been passed. And suspecting that the members of the Plateau State House of Assembly will face the same fate as the National Assembly members who lost their position to, they quickly, the members then, as they were, they quickly elected this particular speaker. And the seven members of the House of Assembly were not present. They were not even invited to that sitting. They quickly elected uh, the, the present speaker as the speaker. And then the, the coming week, they all lost their position, and then he became speaker. 
from that time, he has refused to convey the House of Assembly to sit. He has refused to, to, re, to, he has refused to bring on board the, the six members, not until recently when he's under pressure. He brought them through the back door to sit. So he has been operating. He's the speaker, the deputy speaker, and all the principal officers. He's the only person acting. And oh. we, we wonder why he should deny 16 constituency opportunity to be represented. Okay. That was how he became the speaker. Okay. All right. Um, uh, Kola Wale has called in from Ajagbandi. Ajag, Ajagbandi. Good morning to you, sir. Yeah, good morning. Well, uh, unfortunately, we lost him. <laughs> so Yes, I was going to say that um, what Doe, the young man, the speaker of uh, Plateau State House of Assembly, is doing is contemptuous. And I don't know if a contempt proceedings have been brought against him. Um, the courts have sometimes intervened, even though we say there is a watertight separation. I am aware of um, a locus classicus on um, local classicus means earlier authority that case decided that we rely on. Um, when um, a governor was impeached and we went to court and court declared impeachment wrong and void. So you see the court can come in. Now, um, I don't know, like the Honorable said, where the Speaker is getting a court injunction from, but you can go to court and ask the court to order your swearing in. You can go to court and ask the court to order specifically the Speaker to swear the members who won at the Court of Appeal, the final court, in, if he refuses, go to court and file contempt proceedings against the speaker. The fact that any other insinuation is political. Oh, the governor is trying to, you know, cajole the speaker. The speaker. Of course, naturally, these are political activities, but we must concentrate on the legal aspects. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so I hear you. Yes, we must. We must, they should go to court. I'm, I'm going to, uh, okay, let me take Ibrahim before I come back to you, Honorable Bako, uh, to get very, very clearly APC's position in how to conduct itself in this um, situation. But before then, let me quickly take Ibrahim calling in from Kaduna. Good morning, sir. Um, can you hear us? Ibrahim in Kaduna. Okay. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Oh, good morning, good morning sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am Ibrahim, calling from Kaduna. In okay. Fact, I don't know. I don't really know how, what type of democracy are we practicing in this country, Mr. Uncle Yori? What type of democracy are we really practicing? Are we really following the tenets of this system? Are we really? If we are. Now, I just want to ask a question. Is it the type of democracy that the Western world is practicing that we are practicing? How can one person from the government, from uh, the let me, let me call it that, uh, from the opposition party now, as far as the state assembly is concerned, that we be an authentic speaker? In fact, what direction are we going? In fact, to me, this morning I'm so baffled. This thing is baffled me. We should just try to at least enact something that will work for us. Because yeah. why are the system that we are practicing? Just the other, it's not workable. <laughs> really, it's not workable. <laughs> this is something that other other other, other countries are looking at us and laughing at us of this thing. Please, <laughs> we should try to push this in the right pedestrian. Oh, we right. want to move forward. Nigeria must be, must be put in the right path so that the entire nation and indeed other nations will also come to us. Because why? Nigeria is not just a giant of Africa. We should put the right thing in place. Okay. This one, this, the issue that they have to cover, this two girls have been this one, in fact, is totally disappointed. I am disappointed. I don't want to see anything because to me, really, it's not palatable at all. They go ahead, Osama. Go try to encourage our democracy for all this country. Thank you very much. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ibrahim, calling in. Uh, as I said, uh, Honorable Bako, um, yes. explain to us APC's position in letting this matter drag on. Uh, as long as it has, and why it hasn't taken uh, a legal, uh, any legal uh, maneuver, procedure um, to uh, cancel what many are seeing as a spectacle. 
Well, uh, thank you. You see, uh, APC, APC is, uh, is the law abiding party. You can imagine that we constitute the national, uh, the, the, the national government. And if we are, you are to go by the, the lacadastical attitude of the, the, the speaker here, we would have used the federal might, you know, to influence and force him to, to swear in the members. But we say no. When they took the matter to the appellate court, we, we ensure that the appellate court make a pronouncement ordering the speaker to, with may effect, swear in the members. But he has refused. He has refused to do that. And that and is then, why my guest in studio here said he is in contempt as far as the law is concerned. He, yes. How, can is that, how is it that exactly. that cannot be actioned? Well, the party at the national level, that is APC at the national headquarters, have put in machineries to approach the court again. For contempt proceedings? What, what for? That is what the for, party for, is going what, to do. What for? Uh, about contempt proceedings? About contempt. I, I think before it froze there, you were going to affirm yes. that, yes, indeed, for Comte. Uh, so, I mean, from what he is saying, uh, APC seems to view it that it's in a very delicate position. It doesn't want to be seen to be strong-arming anybody, certainly not the legislature, neither the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know. Well, okay, you're back. I hear that you're back. Uh, I, I was yes. saying... I was saying, what was what, what were what did you say APC was approaching the court for, or, or is it for in in relation to contempt proceedings? Because uh, my guest, who is a legal practitioner over three decades, and you don't even need all that time to to just be an intelligent observer to know from what we've been talking about this morning that the speaker, uh, honourable speaker of the Plateau State House of I Assembly, is, issue a is in contempt. He is in contempt. Since you said a court, the appellate court has actually asked him, I don't know if courts ask or the, 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 the order, has actually ordered him to do the needful, which he has not done. He therefore is in contempt. But then there are those who will now say that, well, this is Nigeria now and anything can happen. A person can disobey a judge and nothing will happen. So doesn't it, doesn't it sound, that's why I said that it does make it look like a spectacle of some sort. Honorable Bako, are you still with us? I know that the um, audio... Yes, I'm with you. Yes. So, uh, I'm with you. Uh, uh, so, now, uh, continue, please. Continue. Go ahead. Now, this is the position. The party at the national headquarters had issued a statement calling on the Plateau State House of Assembly Speaker to with immediate effect swore in the members of the Plateau State House of Assembly or first contempt procedures. So the next action, I believe, the national headquarters in conjunction with the states will do is to go again and file a case against the Speaker of the Plateau State House of Assembly, a contempt case. Okay. Okay. I hear you. Now, the, the problem, let me bring the problem to, my, to the lawyer in uh, studio here. He just said that the party at the national level, which is in opposition to the party of the speaker. But the party has asked the speaker or ordered the speaker or directed the speaker, whatever it is. But surely there is no superiority there. You're a member of a party, I'm a member of the party. It's different when a legal superior. So what, what is there is this. In this country, a court ordered the arrest and imprisonment of the chairman of EFCC for contempt yes. in this country. Yes. We don't need this perception of using uh, political might when the issue is strictly legal. We should reduce it. Okay. You don't need the headquarters. You don't need your APC. I'm not a partisan, mm -hmm. but you don't but need that. But there's no legal, I don't think there's because any legal Because if the man is in contempt, those of you that are affected, go to court. You are the interested party. File an application for content. No. If that application is granted, get the police okay. to comply with it. Let me ask something else about the law. Um, the appellate judge has directed, go and do this. Um, even if people haven't come back to him, he can see or she can see that that order has, is not being obeyed. The situation that we, we all saw in the papers the other day that they brought before us, uh, 
is continues to exist. Um, that is why it would have been easy to so, start so the, the court proceedings. So the court is not. Uh, the, the court cannot say that. On its um, own? Yes. No. That I am seeing something going on oh, in society no, no, that no, is not no, right. No, no, no. Okay. The law. The, the way the law works is that I I see it, but until it is brought before exactly. me, exactly, I won't do anything. Yes, but the court can take judicial uh, notice. Judicial notice because they are notorious facts. Yes, yes, yes. Let notori I like that. Mm. Th these are notorious facts. Yes, so the judge can take judicial notice. But you need to bring an application. And the judge will decide based on an application. Well. But the judge, no judge can, no matter how he feels it, he has seen the man stealing. And he cannot just say, I order you that you be sent to prison. No. The man will be arrested, investigated, and brought to the court. They will listen to the man's lawyer or the man, and they before you take a decision, there must be proof. Exactly. But we are seeing the proof here that this the judge. You are the one seeing it. Yes. Everybody is seeing it. The, the court, society is seeing it. Oh, so the, the, court, court, the court, court, personally, as member of the society, yes, have also seen it. Seen it. But when they are sitting as a court, they are detached. They are supposed to be detached yeah, emotionally. Yeah, yeah. So you bring your application before the court. That's why the lawyer. That's why lawyers sometimes say, meaning no disrespect, that the law can be an ass at times. When we discover that it is becoming an ax, the legislators will look at that area That's it. and amend it. We've stated it here severally. And then, Plateau State is not the only state that is having this issue. Edo State is also having the issue. So I think there should be an amendment where a court decides on issues like this. The court should have the power to look for an alternative way of getting parties who the court have ordered to be sworn in to be sworn in. Okay. So you probably can appreciate when our producers say, you know what caption we're going to give this? Unending confusion. Because um, uh, sometimes that which is not confusing at all to a secondary school student, um, by the time you bring the entire weight of the law to bear on the question, you can find that it's not as simple as you are saying. No. The facts are clear. We all know the situation in Plateau. We know what played out legally. That's all we need the to The facts know. are clear, sir. But then somebody is, is in disobedience. The world that in Plateau, the court is being disobeyed. Good. Now, the persons involved should not use self help They should go back to that same court because the law made provisions for instances like this where its order are disobeyed. Okay. Let me ask the Honorable Bako. Uh, what, what do you say about that, uh, that particular line that um, it is for the APC to now go back to the court, not for APC headquarters to be appealing or directing or ordering, you know, uh, the Plateau State uh, Speaker? What do you say to that? Why hasn't APC done what simplistically looks like um, the, the only option? Go to that court and, and go and uh, report to that court that come... No, they won't say come. That <laughs> <laughs> and say that, look, okay. there's an infringement going on here. Why has APC not been able to take that, that um, particular line of action? Uh, well, uh, I think um, we, like I earlier said, APC is a low-abiding party. Mm. And uh, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are trying to, see, to, to see where there are political solutions to issues. But in an event where those political solutions are not workable again, that is when we will invoke the law. And I think we have exhausted the political approach, and then I think it is left for us now to invoke the law properly. And I think without any more worth of time, we will approach the Court of Appeal to remind them that somebody is in disrespect or is in disobedience of a judgment they have passed almost five to six months ago. Exactly. That's the whole point. Five to six, where, where does Pato get all that patience from? I mean, I mean where, where, where does that patience come from? Uh, yes, I heard you, you say, know, when, you say, so when you say that crises. we in APC are a law-abiding lot. Yeah, but if they are law-abiding, that's the more reason why they should approach the courts and de-emphasize a, a political angle to settlement of this issue. Well, you are guided, sir, it would appear to me, by your party. You know, party, supremacy, and, uh, and all of that. That seems to be the situation here. It's not as if you yourself do not know the logic of what we are talking about, but if you don't get the go-ahead from your party to proceed as such, um, I guess what APC is saying that in Plateau states, I'm sorry, we've got to sit on our hands. There's nothing we can do. But I should take note, sir, 
that they are not representing their party. They are representing the society. Your constituency is a society. And we have different persons who are, you know, who, who, who are in other parties in that constituency. And they have trusted you with their you know, uh, governance. So why will you not look at one particular party? You should follow suit. Do well, the right thing. Uh, 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 Honorable Bako, it seems to me that uh, uh, the, the response to um, what uh, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Dania is saying is that we are waiting on the leadership of our party to advise us on how to proceed. Am I, am I correct in that guess? Uh, well, like I said, you know, uh, the party has its structures, right from the state to the, to the national down to the you okay. know, grassroots. Okay. And we, we understand the plight of the constituency whose rights have been denied. We really understand, and we understand what it pertains for our party and our members. And uh, like I said, the party is seriously on this issue, and with that, with, without any more waste of time, I believe that this issue will be brought to a logical conclusion. All I right. think that is what I can say for now. But the party is seriously working, tirelessly working to see the end of this issue. Okay, then. Well, thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Wumana uh, Bako, Plato State Assistant Secretary of APC. Uh, one understands your position. You're a loyal you. party man. And um, um, you, you, thank you, we, we just thank you for telling us um, as much as you, you are able much. to tell us. Thank you very much. Okay, then. Well, we're going to have to uh, leave it there. But just before we, we, we go, um, did you, was there something else that you wanted to talk about? Yes, I want just to use this opportunity to commend the uh, administration for proving a lot of Nigerians wrong by the decline and, uh, of the dollar against the Naira and okay. appreciation of the Naira. But we would have seen that instead of affecting the market, it is not. Yes. And that brings us to the issue of open market. Paper prices are not regulated. Unlike when we had the military era of uh, Diagmo, we were forced to sell at price reasonable control. price. Price control. We need to introduce price control. While introduce it, introducing it, we should be careful not to encourage self help So people can make profit. But here in Nigeria, you can make 500% profit without being questioned. Okay. That is one. The second one is that Please, let us do to electricity what we did to communication. You know, before we got GSM, Kotonu was having GSM. And when we got our GSM, man, everywhere, we, are you aware that we are the number fourth consumer of GSM where in the world? Talking about rice, shortly after uh, we stopped the importation well, of rice. You, you've added two. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Tony Dania, lawyer and public affairs analyst. Thank you very much for coming on our program. We're going to have to leave it there. Do please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Fulani. Bye-bye for now.